Tonight, a special report on our own Jamie Singleton's recovery. You may remember in February, Jamie was driving to work on Route 122 in Bedford County when state police say he crossed the center line and hit a delivery truck head on. He was in the hospital for more than a week. Claudia Rupsich has been following Jamie's recovery. Claudia, it's pretty remarkable. He is just now starting to remember what happened. I know. He says images from the accident are coming back to him, and he says just now the severity of it is actually hitting him. I spoke to him, and he told me he had no idea how bad the accident really was, and he's just thankful for those first responders and his family who have been right by his side. And I didn't realize how close to death I really was. Two months after the accident, Jamie Singleton can now put the pieces together. The one part of the accident I remember was was their truck. I was so focused on their truck, I didn't even realize my car was being destroyed. State police say Jamie hit this Schwann's truck head on. Two people were inside. The impact sent his car backward almost 200 feet. The front of his car collapsed, pinning Jamie down. As I sat in the car trapped, I thought, what have I done? A woman who saw the accident talked to Jamie and called for help. And I thought I was just in a minor collision. So my first reaction to uh, that being said was to get pictures of the accident to give to you guys to get on the to get on the web. The Manita Volunteer Fire Department had to cut Jamie out of his car, removing the roof and doors and pushing the dashboard off Jamie's legs. He thinks about those first responders every day. To not even expect a thank you and just leave the scene of the accident and go along with their everyday life. And they pulled me out of that wreckage and saved my life. I, I can't get over that. Jamie's dad, Johnny, was one of the first people to learn of the wreck. He was not prepared at all for what he saw. I can remember still vividly seeing his black dress shoe stuck in the dash by one of his. And I was wondering how that foot got in that position, you know, on the car. And I was, and I was thinking, this isn't good, this isn't good, and that's my kid. EMT started working on Jamie right away before airlifting him to Corelli and Roanoke Memorial Hospital. I'll be honest, I really didn't know if we would see Jamie alive again. I didn't know if he would be alive when we got to Roanoke Memorial. Jamie suffered several broken bones in his legs, arms, and face. He also had a bruised lung and fractured ribs. After hours of surgery, his mom got to see him for the first time. I leaned over and I said, Jamie, mom's here. And he opened his eyes and he looked at me and he kind of raised up and when he did that I kissed him on the forehead and he raised up again so I kissed him again. Jamie says he doesn't remember much from ICU that first week so when he went online for the first time from his hospital bed he was overwhelmed. I had no idea the media coverage I had no idea the community response and 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 seeing all the emails and uh, first it was Facebook posts that I was reading, and then it was the news stories. It brought tears to my eyes. It's that support, Jamie says, helps him every day. With time and a lot of therapy, he's healing and getting better. Be you don't over-exaggerate that. Yeah, I try to keep it to a minimum. He's now able to move around and walk with some help. To have seen him that first day, you know, after the accident, and to see him now is just, I never would have thought he'd come this far this soon. And it's certainly good to see him up and about again. Now we did try to reach the two people in the truck. Fortunately, their injuries weren't as severe as Jamie's. They were treated and released from the hospital soon after. And Jamie does face a reckless driving charge. And coming up line at 6, we'll have his recovery process and the therapy he's going through. And we are so happy to hear that he is recovering, although I know it is a long and painful process. Looking forward to that at 6.